Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing the three reasons why a person, your foe, your enemy, your adversary will attack attack you. Friends, we must know and understand that salvation, which has been given to us so graciously by our creator, by God, who is for most of our uh, account is our heavenly father. You must understand that there is a bipolar difference between good and evil, right and wrong, up and down, hot, cold. There is a bipolar difference. And when you are dealing with people who claim, they claim that they are children of God and that God is their heavenly father, you, you don't expect them to attack your character and to bash and slander you. So what we have to know and we have to understand, friends, is that when people are attacking you, these three areas, just, just consider it. Because it will help you to endure the the fighting, the beating, the, the, the powwows, the friction, the confrontation. Because it's going to come, friends. You're going to have bumps. You're going to have run-ins with, with people, especially false brethren. That's the number one reason a person will attack you, friend, because they are not true followers of Jesus Christ. They are not children of God. They 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 could they could talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. So when you uh, 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 make light of their folly, and they come for you, because listen, friends, let me tell you, you get up on the right one. They want to pow 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 pow. They want to fight. Literally, they want to fight you. That's not a that's not a true brethren. The number two reason a person is going to attack you is because they're guilty. They're guilty and they know they're guilty. And instead of them going to the altar and going to the father and dealing with their folly, dealing with that uncleanness, dealing with their sin, dealing with their rebellion, they come for you because they cannot see God. So the God in you, they're going to attack it. And friend, you got to be okay with it. Many people are being like big babies. You whining and you crying and the attacks come with the territory. Jesus said, we must first sit down and count the cost. And you have to put in the cost to carry the gospel, to be a person of light, to be a person who is, is striving daily to walk that straight, that narrow path, because that's where Jesus said we must walk, friends, to inherit the kingdom of God, and that the race, friend, is not given to the swift or to the strong, but to those that will endure to the end. Jesus, friends, was attacked constantly by also, number three, religious people. People who are religious, who are mostly false brethren, they will attack you. They will come for you. Why? Because they are not rooted in the spirit of Christ, but in rituals and traditions of men. This is why when you're talking to some people, they're so churched, they're so indoctrinated and institutionalized. They have been religionized because they do not know the spirit. Spirit of liberty, which is in Christ Jesus. And they will come for you, friends. They will want to fight you, beat you. They want to blackball you. They want to hang you out to dry. Think about this. If you truly have God's spirit, why would you want to bash and slander your brethren? Think about this, friends. Why would a person want to just hang you out to dry? See, that's what Haman did. Haman wanted to hang Mordecai out to dry. He was like, build them gallows. You got to read the story of it in Esther. Build them gallows up high, real high. Let it touch the sky and put that man on it, <laughs> which we know he ended up on his own uh, gallows. But friends, that's what false brethren will do. People who are religious, false brethren, they will hang you out to dry. I can't say it enough. If you truly are a brother and sister in Christ and you're sensitive to the spirit, what does the scriptures teach us, friends? Love covers a multitude of sin. Love covers it. It will, it will say, you know what? We're not doing that. We're not going to put that out there like that. No, that's not of God. We know. We know. Mm -mm. I may not like what, what the brother said. I may not like what the sister said, but I'm not going to uncover my brethren. 
because friends at the end of the day love covers the third reason a person or fourth reason they will bash slander and attack you is because they're jealous of you people who are jealous remember friends the latter part of that word the suffix is lousy jealous people are lousy people and they want to bring you where they are into that dark space they want to bring you down to where they are in the gutter they live the low life of the flesh man and remember the flesh profits nothing friends but darkness doom and gloom and hatred and retaliation this is their meditation this is all they think about is how to tear up and tear down everybody and everything because they don't have nothing good in them. So what is our final analysis about these facts, friends? Why are you losing sleep over these people attacking you? If they're guilty, if they're false brethren, if they're lousy, they're jealous, why would you continue to fall to pieces because these people are attacking you? It takes great strength uh, brethren, in the spirit of Christ to keep following our Lord and Savior and to set your face like flint that I'm not looking to the left or to the right. I have a mission. My mission will not be aborted. I will continue to fight the good fight. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they talking about. I'm staying in my lane. I'm keeping my eye on the prize. That's what Jesus did. We are his disciples. We are his followers and we should be like our master. We don't have time, friends, to give heed and an audience to foolishness and people who don't know your your true heart where you are in the spirit ignore them jesus did not give an audience to these people he spoke to them and he kept on moving and let me tell you friend as a bonus the reason why many people will also turn around and attack you people who will tell you today i just love you I love you, Sir Sharon. Ooh, Sir Sharon. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then when you touch that guilty part of their life, oh, now, now I'm a Jezebel. I'm a demon. I'm a devil. Why? Because they're guilty and they're also immature. When you deal with immature saints, brethren who are in Christ, but they're immature, they want to they wanna control you with their money. They want to give you a love gift. And when you speak to their foolishness, uh, give me my money. Give me my money back. I don't like you. Foolishness. Immature. Petty, petty, petty. Listen and hear me, friends. You do not maneuver in that petty low life. If it's you that's behaving like this, you need to get to the altar, friends, because we, we, we must be mature. We must not try to strong arm people who don't agree with us. I'm not arguing with you. That's why God will give you, friends, that wilderness experience to get out of you that wishy-washy. So when you say what you say, you mean it. And if, you, if you're encountering people that don't agree, I, I get people that disagree with me all the time. But I'm not going, I'm not going to give heed to arguing with you and, and you a devil. And it, No, go on down the street. I don't agree with you. You don't agree with me. Go to the next videos. We ain't got to fight about it. So friends, be wise. Be careful what you say about others. Because friends... Heaven records everything. Oh, that's right. Heaven records everything. And everything we're saying, it will speak. It will, it will be laid before us. When we remo are removed from this bodysuit, we must and we will give an account. So, beloved, stop losing sleep over guilty false brethren and jealous people go to sleep shake it off at the end of the day as i close this exhortation the more broken and beat up you are about others opinions about you reveals just how alive we are in our flesh because the flesh cannot handle those attacks but in the spirit in the spirit we are strong, we are valiant, and we can do all things through Christ Jesus, our Lord. So when you keep, you know, they're attacking me, I'm under attack, don't, don't blow it up, friends. Get to the altar and get it out of you. Give it to God 
and keep on walking, keep on moving, shake it off because those daggers will come. God bless you, my friends. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong. Till next time, don't forget, you are a soldier in the army of God. And unless we war for our souls daily, we will succumb to our number one nemesis, the flesh. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.